So we ran out of time on the last one, but what I was about to say is I did forget to check cranial nerve 8, which is her auditory um, test, and so I'm going to have her plug this ear with this hand. I'm going to whisper a word and repeat what that word is, Maddie. Gymnastics. Same thing on this side. Baseball. Very good. All right, so cranial nerve 8 is intact. Now I'm going to move on to the mouth and throat. And we can see that her lips are smooth. They are just a little bit lighter um, brown than the rest of her facial skin. There's no cracks. I see no, go ahead and open up your, no chelitis in the corners there. I'm gonna get um, my gloves on. And look at her buccal mucosa, her teeth and her gums. Get my supplies here. So, Maddie, I'm going to have you open up. I'm just going to look in her dorsal side of her tongue. You can see the papilla on there. Um, I don't see any swelling or any fissures or dryness or cracking there. I'm going to have you lift your tongue to the top of your mouth and look at the ventral side. It's smooth and glossy. The veins are intact. They're not tortuous. Now, I'm going to reach inside here and just palpate here at the base. Any pain with that? And I feel no hardness or anything there. Looking at her buccal mucosa here. It's nice light pink. There are some uh, areas of darker brown pigmentation to her gum line and her buccal mucosa. I feel no stones or hardness at the, um, at the Stimson's or Wharton's ducts. And when I look at the gum line, it is nicely and tightly adhered to her teeth. I don't feel any loose teeth, the top or the bottom. Good. And what I'm going to have you do is say light, tight, dynamite. Light, tight, dynamite. Good. Her tongue, um, talking is intact, and uh, movement is intact, so cranial nerve 12 is intact. I'm going to have you press your tongue against my hand here. Good. And this side, too. Good. And I feel equal strength bilaterally there. Then, um, next, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you stick out your tongue. I'm going to grab it here, and I'm just going to palpate and look. Oh, sorry, honey. Mm -hmm. Side to side here. That looks good. There's no lesions or sores or anything like that. I see no leukoplakia or retroplakia. So then what I'm going to have you do is open up your mouth, stick out your tongue, say ah. ah. Good. I see no drainage or exudate in her posterior pharynx. Her uvula moves midline is in, and is intact. It's smooth and pink. Her soft palate is a little bit darker pink than her hard palate with the transverse vertebrae intact. And present in her tonsils, are a one plus. <laughs> so your cranial nerve nine is intact, 12 is intact, and 10 is intact. All right, so then, Maddie, I'm going to check your mass masseter muscle strength. So I'm gonna have in your range of motion of your temporal mandibular joint. So first I'm gonna have you open your mouth. Good, close your mouth. Good, open your mouth again. Move it side to side. I feel no clicking or popping. Do you have any pain with that? Yeah. I'm going to have you grind your teeth. Good. And her muscle, masseter muscle strength is plus five. That's very strong. You can see it when you're close up. I'm going to go ahead and have you open your mouth against resistance and try and close it against resistance. Good. Strength is intact. Cranial nerve five is intact there. All right. So then what I'm going to do is look at her neck for symmetry. I see her trachea is midline right at the suprasternal notch there. And um, feeling her pulsations equal bilaterally. Um, her uh, carotid pulses are strong, plus five, equal bilaterally. So then when I'm going to look at her sternocleidomastoid muscle here, and it's intact, I'm going to have you put pressure against my hand here, turn your head against my hand there. Um, good. Muscle strength is equal bilaterally. Go ahead and Shrug your shoulders against my hands. Good. Trapezius muscle is equal bilaterally, so that would be cranial nerve 11 is intact. All right, so I'm going to feel your lymph nodes here. You have your preauricular. You have a preauricular node there, too. Your postauricular, your occipital. Good. For the deep cervical, I'll show on this side first. You find that, that sternomastoid muscle there. Get your fingers behind it, have her tilt her head to that side, relax it, and then you dig posterior to that. Same thing on this side, dig posterior, good, and I'm just going to do posterior cervical. 
she's a kid so her nodes are going to be larger and also because she's so thin but she, all of her nodes that I feel I've measured my fingers they're less than one centimeter they're easily movable none of them are matted or adhere to any um, structure skin or underlying muscle of, or otherwise so that would all be intact and then um, I'm going to have you do your range of motion of your cervical spine. So I want you to tuck your chin to your chest. Back, right back. Ear to one shoulder. Ear to the other shoulder. Good. Look over one shoulder. Look over the other shoulder. Any pain or tenderness with that. Okay. So that concludes our exam from the head, or excuse me, neck up. And this was the second half, which we did the mouth and the neck. Um, you can see that nobody does this perfect with checking each box down the line as you go, but what is important is that you hit all of the main points there. You go back and uh, review what you missed and that you're telling me or the person that you're examining what your findings are. And just so you know, while we're waiting for the other video to upload, I did recheck her eyes with both ophthalmoscopes, the, the panoramic and the regular one, and her optic disc was sharply defined, margins clearly defined. So I was able to see it eventually when she figured out what she was supposed to be doing. And I looked nice. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, I think that concludes our exam here. And if you have questions, let us know. Thank you. Bye.